all know that the, the climate is changing and that's bringing uh, pressures on agriculture. It's bringing a need for uh, new varieties of crops that can respond differently to the environment. One of the things that is important is flowering time. We want to understand this process better and that involves identifying genes that control the process. We want to study them, understand how they work and how they've evolved. We would like to uh, know more about uh, how the plant responds to things like day length and temperature, how those things control flowering. Flowering typically occurs in any given species, it occurs at a certain time of year and also it reflects the fact that the plant's responding to different things in the environment such as day length and temperature. So those factors are really important in determining where a plant can grow. So even within one species of plant there's a lot of variation for how the plant responds to these kinds of environmental factors. One of the important uh, first steps is to assemble and to characterise a lot of different varieties of these crop species uh, that we've obtained from all around the world. One of the huge advantages we have here is a unique facility that enables us to simulate uh, different seasons at any time of year. So regardless of the external day length, we can grow plants in, in whatever day length we want. While this kind of thing can be done in, in, in small growth rooms, uh, here at the University of Tasmania we have a, a very unique facility which enables us to grow large numbers of plants and being able to grow large numbers of plants is essential for this type of work. This facility that we see here represents a, a long history of, of UTAS uh, investment in this type of work. It goes back several decades now and it's really established us as one of the leading uh, groups internationally in this area. We've done a fairly detailed analysis of some of the plant genomes that have recently become available to identify genes that might be involved in the process. We've also set up a big program which involves cross-pollination between cultivated plants and their wild ancestors. We were able to identify a gene that we think uh, plays a very important role in, in controlling the difference between winter and spring forms of a particular crop legume. This gives us an insight into the history of that crop it may have enabled the expansion of that crop in, in prehistoric times. Farmers are looking for new varieties of crops that perform better. We hope that what we learn from this project will contribute to the development of new varieties of crops that perform better in certain environments, and particularly certain environments in which uh, climate change is going to be a factor.